Hi, my name is Jess Meldrum from Qmetrics and welcome to today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. In today's episode, I'm going to discuss the concept of attributes. Attributes are created to provide another way to group the data. Within Workday Adaptive Planning, there are account attributes, level attributes and dimension attributes. These behave in a way that will allow users to tag accounts, levels or dimensions with the value of the attribute. Let's take a look at the dimension attributes. Here we can see there are three dimension attributes. We've got group, color and size. These three attributes are specifically for the product dimension. To create a new attribute, we can select create a new dimension attribute. I'm going to call my dimension brand. Now I need to create the attribute values. Because I've selected brand from the canvas, the parent automatically defaults to brand. The first value I'm going to create is A. Now I just need to repeat this process for each of my values. Here you can see I've created four attribute values of brand, A, B, C and D. Now we need to go and have a look at the dimensions. I'm going to filter on the product dimension so that we're only looking at product. If I select one of the products, what we can see on the right here, if we scroll down, is the dimension attributes. Here we can see the group, color and size that has already been selected, but we've also got brand. Using the drop down, I can tag my product A1 with the attribute value of A. As you can imagine, this process gets quite tedious when you have multiple attribute values and multiple dimensions that you need to tag. Instead, we can do a bulk import. Here I'm going to select Generate Printable View. This generates an Excel sheet with all of our dimensions. If I scroll across to the right, I can see all of our dimensions. What I can do here is I can fill out the sheet and tag each product dimension with a brand. A key thing to remember here is that when filling out the dimension structure from the downloaded file, you need to ensure that the attribute values listed are created in the web portal. An exception to this is if you have the dimension import automatically creates attribute values selected when you create the attribute. This just means that any value entered into the dimension structure will automatically be created as an attribute value. There are a couple of things you need to be careful of when creating values, especially in the bulk import method. Any spelling errors made in the structure may cause an attribute value to be created twice. When tagging a level with an attribute, the children will inherit the attribute value set from the parent, if not specified on the children. That's it for today's episode. As always, if you'd like to know more details or get further assistance, please reach out. Thanks and bye for now.